Hey howdy hey y'all, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be building a setup for this little guy. Do y'all see that adorable little Crested Gecko right there? He is just straight chilling. And oh my goodness, guys, we are gonna be building a setup for this micro gecko. So yes, you heard me right. This adorable little young Crested Gecko that I actually bred myself is going to get a whole new setup. And I also have many other of his brothers and sisters that I have for sale. So if you are interested in purchasing a baby Crested Gecko, DM my Instagram. The Royal Pirate Toad YT. But without further ado, let's go put this adorable little baby up for just a second while we get it set up together. We've got most of the materials we're gonna be using together. Some of this stuff we'll be using here in a little bit, some of this we're gonna use right now. First things first, this is the setup we're gonna be using for his micro setup. So it's a two and a half gallon aquarium here, and it's got this door here. So this is how it goes. Normally it's a little two and a half gallon aquarium, but then you flip it up and it becomes a standing, fully functioning enclosure for many different types of reptiles, and in this case scenario, a crested gecko. It's basically a smaller version of this one I have over here. So it comes with a key where you can open and close the door. So we've got our key over here. And same thing, if we put our key in the keyhole there, we can open and close our door. So that's super unique. Basically, we're gonna set this up for this little gecko. Now, I will let you know, this does not work as a permanent setup for a crested gecko. Eventually, a crested gecko will need a setup that size that is a 20 gallon long. So we're gonna start with this little two and a half gallon that's only gonna last a couple of months and eventually move them into something like that, a 20 gallon long enclosure. And you can, of course, see the size difference. That 20 gallon long absolutely just towers over the little two and a half gallon, so keep that in mind. Now this little enclosure is going to be a bioactive setup, so we're not just going to set it up like a regular enclosure, we're also going to make it bioactive. So first things first, we're going to be using some waterfall foam sealant. Now I will tell you this, we're only going to need like a quarter if not less of this can, so we will have a lot left over of this can. After that, you're going to need some substrate of your choice for the background and for the bottom of the enclosure itself. In this case scenario, we're going to use this little bag of repti soil. You're going to need some moss and other plants for decoration. You're also going to need some leaf litter. Then you're going to need various different isopods and springtails to act as your cleanup crew. And of course, your gecko food and water. And I also recommend having some sort of LED light or light to put on top of the enclosure. Now with these glass enclosures, you don't want to put any sort of heat or UVB, but you can put an LED light fixture on the top. And that's mainly just so your gecko's not sitting in the dark or anything like that, and so that your plants can get plenty of sunlight. Not sunlight, but LED light. Oh, and another thing you're gonna need, of course, is cork and some rocks for the background of your enclosure. So once you start foaming this little cage, you're gonna need some maybe some small chunks of cork, maybe a rock or something like that to kind of decorate the enclosure. And also some Gorilla Glue. I'll show you what that's for as well here later on. Without further ado, now that we've got all our ingredients together for our micro Crested Gecko setup, let's get to foaming. Oh, and as I am filming this setup here, I've got this old beat up round enclosure that has a background in it, but so I don't waste all of the foam on one little cage, I'm actually going to be foaming this one a little bit just to touch it up and add some detail. So you may see some of that in this video as well. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to start laying some cork out throughout the enclosure. This task can take me a few minutes just to kind of get an idea of where I'm gonna want everything. And remember, we are setting this up for a crested gecko, so we want plenty of branches, plenty of climbing opportunities, and plenty of places for the animal to hide. As we start getting our pieces of cork laid out where we want it, then we will begin the foaming process. For now, I'm gonna go around just rearranging the cork, seeing where I think it looks best moving stuff around. And then once again, as I get the cork exactly where I want it, then we'll start foaming. Okay, if I pick you guys up, you can kind of take a look. I've gotten the cork exactly where I want it. So this is how we have it. And you can see the little gaps that we need to put the foam in. Any of these little bare glass gaps, that's where we're going to foam in and around the cork. As that foam dries, it'll harden and hold everything in place. Alrighty, now that the camera is in position, we're going to go ahead and start foaming. So we shake our can up, turn it upside down, basically just insert the straw and begin to squeeze. There we go. Now with this cage, being that it is so small, we only need a tiny amount of foam because this foam will expand and fill in a lot of space. 
and boom we are basically almost done foaming this enclosure that's how quick it goes and there goes our foam now that it's done foaming we're gonna go ahead and get a good little scoop of refty soil here and we're gonna sprinkle it all across the enclosure just like so continue to sprinkle your refty soil in and around the enclosure and there we go now it's already starting to look like a naturalistic background and now i'm going to go ahead and begin foaming this old dirty cage and while i'm foaming this one we're going to leave this cage to rest for a few hours if not overnight because it's already getting late so i may just pick up the camera tomorrow once the foam on both of these cages has dried Well y'all, we are currently picking up our camera and it is in fact the next day. So basically our tanks are dry and ready to be set up. Now unfortunately I'm not going to be setting this one up, I'm actually building it to sell later on. And I mean hey, if you're in the DFW area and you want this round enclosure with built in LED lights, a background built by Pyrotoad, let me know, hit me up on my Instagram, the Real Pyrotoad YT. But enough of that. Let's get on to our mini Crested Gecko setup. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip it upright. Let's take a look and see how the background looks. Boom, just like that, the background is on. So you can see we've got some branches, some perches for our gecko, and then of course the rest of the enclosure itself. And then of course our locking door. I think the gecko will enjoy this, and I think this will be a nice looking little Crested Gecko setup. Now being that this enclosure is just so small, I will not be adding any sort of drainage layer onto the bottom. You could technically add some charcoal or some rocks or some hydro balls, but the drainage layer is super small anyway, so I'm going to skip that part and instead we're going to go straight to adding our bioactive bedding or substrate. We're probably going to use the rest of this refty soil here along with some leaf litter and maybe some magnolia pods and other debris. But Refty Soil makes a fantastic bioactive setup bedding, if you will, nonetheless. So we're definitely going to use Refty Soil and Leaf Litter. So by the time I snap my fingers, there should hopefully be some more bedding in the bottom of this cage. Three, two, one. Whoa! Well, holy crap! The bedding is in. Look at that. Just like magic. Now that we've got our bedding in the enclosure, we're going to go ahead and just dump some of this sphagnum moss in there. Sphagnum moss is really good for holding humidity and allowing the isopods and springtails to have a place to live. And see, we've got this big clump. We're just going to spread it out across the bottom here and create a whole other layer on this forest floor. So we're going to have our dirt layer, then our sphagnum moss layer, then our leaf litter layer. Now that we've got our moss and dirt in, we're going to go ahead, grab some leaves from the bag here, just a small little handful, and just drop it in. You're going to spread the leaves out just like you did the moss and the dirt. And boom, look at that. It is almost time for the funnest part of it all, and that is going to be planting your enclosure. You will be using this Gorilla Gel Glue, and I'm going to show you what for here in just a sec. We're going to be using it for this moss. So what we're going to do is we're going to take little chunks of this green moss here, and we're going to put some glue and moss, glue and moss, all on these branches. That's going to create a more mossy looking background. So let me do that and I will catch up with you here in just a sec. And look at that. This little micro setup is looking pretty dope. I'm not even going to lie. And we've gotten our moss in. Now another thing that this moss will do is not only provide humidity, but the Crested Gecko will have little beds to lay on. He will literally lay on this moss and just chill there. And then whenever he's ready to go and hunt for food, he will do that as well. So I think this is going to look really good. Now it's time for plants on the bottom and maybe some branches or some larger plants inside of the enclosure. So let's get started. Okay, I'm not going to lie for a second. I was trying to think of where to get plants from. But then I realized I can get a bunch of these little clippings from these small heart plants. Because oh my god, I didn't even know it was this bad. But our Fire Valley Toad Tank is doing so good that plants just fill the enclosure. You can hardly see through it. And yes, our Fire Valley Toads are doing fine. They are living. They are thriving as a matter of fact. Plants have just annihilated this cage. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? They were growing onto the light that is kind of a fire hazard oh boy so we're gonna go ahead and use some of these plants here in our nano enclosure i think first we're gonna take our plant and we're gonna glue it or stick it somewhere along the background something like that 
maybe across the floor. I'm still kind of deciding, but something along the lines of that. That'll also provide a really good water and hiding spot for our gecko. But oh my goodness, do we have a lot of those plants, y'all. They are everywhere. Holy smokes. But fortunately for us, they will make fantastic plants for the inside of our little nano enclosure. Guys, our nano cage is complete. Look at that thing, y'all. Oh my goodness, I am so hyped to have this thing set up. And I am even more hyped to get ready to add our crusty gecko. Are you guys ready? Because I'm ready. If we use our little key and open up our cage. You get your own little hand size slice of the jungle. Look at that, we've got our fig, ficus, whatever you wanna call this plant, it is in there. Dropping down from the plant, we've got another plant, another little tiny, beautiful looking plant as a matter of fact. And then of course, our moss, our moss that'll grow onto the logs and hopefully continue to spread throughout the enclosure. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I'm super glad we got this set up. But now, let's add our gecko. Well, yeah, we've got our little baby gecko. What a gorgeous little crest gecko that is. Let's let him go into his new home. Go free, little buddy. Go free, my child. There he goes. There he goes into his new setup. Look at that, guys. He's going right on in to the plant, just like I imagined he would. And man, look at his colors pop, y'all. That is one gorgeous baby crested gecko. I think he's going to enjoy his little setup, his little temporary setup slash hotel slash whatever else you want to call it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments once again. And there y'all have it. That was building a micro nano crested gecko setup. If I should do more videos like that, let me know down in the comments because I enjoy building bioactive setups, whether they're giant or whether they're tiny. And if you guys enjoy it too, let me know. And you guys of course know the drill. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You guys have the whole idea. You should know by now, hopefully. And of course, follow my Instagram, TheRealPyrotoadYT, to stay up to date with me on my more personal life. And if you want to buy an animal from me, got to DM me on my Instagram. Anyways, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in to another video. And hey, I will see you all in the next one with my micro setup right here. Peace! By the way, I use my phone as the light. Oh my god!